Uh. All right, where do I start? Um, two years ago today, uh, basically my marriage finished, ended up, and been with that partner for, you know, coming up near on 15 years. I got two beautiful kids. That's, yeah. But since separation, I don't want to get into too much details, but yeah, it's been a bit of a shit show. And yeah, a lot of it's just been petty bullshit, but yeah, that's a different day, different story, that one. But anyway, since then, I've worked out who a lot of true friends are and which ones aren't. And there's been a lot of people out there who I thought were friends who basically turned around to being only in it for their own best interests. And yeah, a lot of backstabbing and bullshit going on. But it's all good. Every dog has its day. Karma train is going to come around and get them. And yeah. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, one of the biggest disappointments of this whole separation and everything's going on is probably one of the biggest lies that was told to me through this whole deal. That, um, yeah, I'll never. Basically, what I was told is they would never stop me from seeing my own children, and that's been pretty much their only thing they have done is stop me from talking to my own kids. So, yeah, it's all good. It's gonna bite them in the ass, and yeah. And I'm the one who's going to come out smiling in the end because, yeah. Anyway, that's a different story. Um, since the separation and everything going through all the crap, it's been a few times there where I've thought about ending my own life. A few times, actually. My best mate from primary school took his own life. Still had no idea why Timmy did that, but he did. Then my best mate, who was practically my brother, up in Cairns, took his own life uh, seven years ago. And um, yeah, none of us could understand why, what made him do that, what made him go down that road. But uh, after going through all the bullshit, and everything that I've been going through with my separation and not being able to see and talk to my own children because of someone's pettiness and yeah I thought about taking my own life a few times and at one point there I knew exactly why my best mate my brother took his own life and yeah things start to become very very clear after going through all the bullshit that I've been put through and going through but there's others out there who don't give a rat's ass about that only give a shit about themselves or about someone else they yeah anyways I'm not going to get into naming people but yeah there's a few of them out there who are the main, one of the, some of the main culprits of why things went down the path they did so I'm not too stressed at the moment about that because they will get what's coming and it's coming for them so yeah anyways met some lovely people in the last two years caught up with a few friends and a few other people and some ones I least expected it caught up with and it's been great but yeah I got a few things going on at the moment in the pipework. But yeah.
more to come. Alright, that's it for now. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.